Tonight, an unprecedented ruling. For the first time, the Office of Special Counsel recommending a White House official be removed from office. The office calling Trump counselor Kellyanne Conway a repeat offender of the Hatch Act, which bars federal employees from engaging in political activity. They point to these interviews where Conway weighed in on the special election of Roy Moore in Alabama. Doug Jones in Alabama, folks, don't be fooled. He'll be a vote against tax cuts. He's weak on crime, weak on borders. He'll be a reliable vote for tax hikes. He'll be a reliable vote against border security. He'll be a reliable vote against national security and keeping ISIS in retreat. He'll be a reliable vote against the Second Amendment, against life. Clearly being political, by the way, he's now the senator. Out front now, Richard Painter who served as White House ethics lawyer under the Bush administration, and Scott Jennings, former special assistant to President George W. Bush. So, Richard, this is an unprecedented recommendation. You served as White House ethics lawyer. How significant is this move by the OSC? Well, it shouldn't have taken this long. In the Bush administration, someone who did what Kellyanne Conway did would have been fired in 24 hours. We never would have allowed someone in an official interview uh, to be uh, uh, in endorsing or opposing a candidate for political office. That's a clear violation of the Hatch Act. It doesn't matter who you are. The only person who could do that is the President of the United States and the Vice President. So we would have had her out of, the, out of the Bush White House in 24 hours. It's amazing that the Trump White House didn't resolve this, and it took the Office of Special Counsel having to write yet another letter about Kellyanne Conway. So she should be out the door. Uh, and, Scott, I think it's safe to, to see that she will not be out the door. No, no, and she shouldn't be. Look, I, the, the part of this that is most amazing to me is that you have senior advisors to the president. These are extensions, direct extensions of the president, doing press interviews, getting asked questions, and you have this special counsel come along and say, well, they're not allowed to answer certain questions about the political affairs or the public affairs of our country. That's outrageous and it's ludicrous. Kellyanne Conway is on TV responding to questions that reporters are asking her. What is she supposed to do? Say, hang on, Aaron, let me, let me call the Office of Special Counsel and see if I'm allowed to talk about this. This will have a chilling impact on what we can learn from huh. senior advisors to the president. I'm curious, we want to so hear Scott, what why, they say about why, the issues I mean, the of president the day. was Ridiculous. open. Okay, that's true, but this was, these are about political, you know, endorsing people. The president is allowed to say what he wants to say on that, and he does. So shouldn't she just have said that the president's spoken to that and he's made his opinion clear? Which would be yeah, she professional can say that, but and I don't consistent know why with the law. Would, I don't and, know, and, and, and first of all, the by the way, by the way, this law is so outdated. It does not reflect the way the modern presidency works. Well, and Richard knows the this. Law. The modern president like the of the law. United you States like is the, the titular law. head of their political party, and their senior most advisors are extensions of the president, and they are going to be asked on a daily basis about the political affairs of our country and to say that they're not allowed to comment on this. Hmm. Frankly, it smacks of anti-transparency, exactly and it's what wrong, I and it's dumb, and this office, in this office has completely screwed in up the here. Bush White House. You can't do it. It is illegal. And I told you that, and you knew that, and you never would have done it. Karl Rove would have fired anybody who did that in the Bush White House. And I told everybody that, and they knew it. If you don't like the law, you go to Congress and you change that law. It's been around since the 1930s. It is illegal. Then, then why is it unevenly applied? Why can Josh Earnest, the Obama White House press secretary, stand at the podium and criticize then candidate Donald Trump? And that's fine. And Kellyanne Conway can't comment on political affairs. Wanna, One of the problems that we have with this well, special counsel is that it's unevenly email, applied. Go on, on finish, Scott. Finish, Scott. Then I'll give you a chance to respond. It, look, I, I, look. If, if you want to argue about this, that's fine. But why is it okay when certain people do things and not others? I think any objective observer would say, why is it being unevenly applied? And is anybody really surprised that a counselor to this president would be a Republican? Of course they're not going to be surprised at that. It's so, ridiculous. So to this point, though... Um, if you had said that... Yeah, okay. on, go ahead. Go ahead, Richard. If you had said that in the Bush White House, that just because something happened under Bill Clinton, that we can do it here, why isn't it unevenly applied? I would have gone to the counsel of the president and asked for you to be fired immediately. That's not how it's done. The law is the law. I'm tired of pointing fingers at other people. The law is the law. It needs to be upheld. She violated the law. There is not a credible case that can be made that Kellyanne Conway has not repeatedly violated the Hatch Act. She must be fired. End of discussion. And here's the thing about it. She is not only doing it, she has m m made a joke of it. She says she doesn't care. She laughs it off. She scoffs. Here she is. Is it your condition?
contention that you've never violated the Hatch Act? Do you know, can you tell me what the Hatch Act is and how one violates it? Blah, blah. Listen, if you're trying to silence me through the Hatch Act, it's not going to work. Let me know when the jail sentence starts. Scott, her response, is that acceptable? Let me know when the jail sentence starts to just, to start to just you know, yeah, blow look, it I, off, I, it's all worthless. I would, have the same, I would have the same attitude that she had. And by the way, in that clip, you could hear the reporter. The reporters are asking her about the Alabama Senate race, which is why this letter is so ludicrous. And it's not reflective of the reality of what it means to serve a president at this level in the modern era. So you've got reporters asking the White House questions, the White House responding to it, and then these people, these toothless whatever, come down the hallway and say, here's a strongly worded letter that you should be fired. This is, this is so dumb. I, can't, I cannot even believe Kellyanne Conway has to waste five brain cells worried about this. This is outrageous. Richard. This is an attitude toward ethics that I think is embarrassing, and it's shameful. And it's shameful to use your title as a former assistant to President George W. Bush. And you know that in the Bush White House, this would not have been tolerated. We would not tolerate violations of the Hatch Act, and we would not refer to the Office of Special Counsel in this manner. And the bottom line is the reason this is happening is because the United States House of Representatives does not have the courage to impeach Donald Trump, even to open up an impeachment inquiry. And until then, we are going to continue to get the middle finger for every single House of Representatives subpoena. We are going to continue to get this attitude toward the Office of Special Counsel, and it's going to go on and on because they can get away with it. That's the only justification for this. They could get away with it, Aaron, even though it violates the law. Richard had the first uh, question. You get Aaron, the last. This, when, when Richard Painter and I served in the White House, the Office of Special Counsel was a joke. He well knows the Special Counsel Scott Block was a joke who wound up violating federal law himself. And I think this letter shows it's still a joke today. This law needs to be reformed, and we need some reality into this process because this letter is devoid of reality. 